I have played Space Marine 2. I have the game. It's very fun. If anyone ever wanted to join oh. me on it, my friends here, like Chrono or whatnot, I would happily join. Though he'd probably not understand to be horrified by what's going on around him. True. Hmm. Mostly because he needs to learn that there's no AI allowed in uh, 40k. Or at least not on the human side. Uh, Damn. Be because of the war with the machi the war with the men of iron. Oh, and also, uh, since they can't run by AI, they use human brains. Thank you for the hydrate comment. But yeah. Disclaimer: You know the 40k lore. This video will probably give you an aneurysm. Spider-Man 2 is. Yeah, I don't care that much. Game with an incredible story about friendship, what it means to clean up your house. And Space Marine 2 is gonna fill you up. Oh, I do love that commercial where it seems like they're doing a hot, an actual like uh you know a laundry commercial and then it's just an old spice commercial like <laughs> yeah <laughs> I love that that is so funny Torium comes in to add a 400th location. CMJ's jawline, that jaw's folded 1,000 times. I could cut through a cinder block. <laughs> what the hell? By playing Space Marine 2 for 100 <laughs> hours. And I could cut, cut through a cinder block. Somebody what the hell? Sword use that oh, thing God. as stone. Space Marine 2 is the antidote to loneliness. The suppression of depression. The cure for the common man that craves just one I moment. Destruction and gore. Victory. So Funny enough, this yeah. game was made by the same people who made World War Z video games. Souls and every other souls like really out every yeah Miyazaki takes a shit Space and Which... that was a horrible game what do you mean I heard. uh no I, thought the... I heard it was being bad no the world war z game was pretty good you might be thinking of a different one uh might but be. but yeah it makes sense for them because the Tyranids are a gigantic horde and in this game instead of being like oh i need to set up defenses you are the defenses chrono you are the walking tank literally meant to hold them off oh ah Makes sense. Yeah, there isn't no tank for you to get. You are the tank. Get their balls stomped on at night because life fucks them enough during the day. They want a fire extinguisher for their pain, not a reward for taking on more. Space Marine Two is for the dudes that don't care about a forty-hour story about sad gods learning how to live, laugh, and love. I would. I do like that game, but I will say I do like the story of this game. But yeah, it's if you don't know lore, if you don't really care, you can. Just skip past it if you really want and just have fun He's with the gameplay. <laughs> and I'm a tanky bunny. What? For the Emperor! Good morning, <laughs> oh yeah, he's using... The Someone's been making AI... Uh, Making the space marine from uh, Dawn of War start singing songs. Oh, I do love that part. I should probably explain what that is. That's a dreadnought, fa uh, Chrono. Oh. Uh, dreadnoughts okay. are basically space marines that, bit, that are basically have too much prestige to let them just die. But they're so wounded that they pretty much don't have any arms and legs, so they get stuffed into this robot machine thing to move uh, around for battle. Okay. And that's a dreadnought. It's basically the best way to describe it is pissed off coffin. Oh, okay. Stopping me! Oh, how do you get in there? The story and lore. The story in this game is incredible. I was locked into it just as much as the first game. And that is to say, I was not paying attention at all. <laughs> I don't need to know all the details. Mm. I don't care why we do what we do. I, I sweat loyalty and I shit service. The Emperor calls, I answer. That being said, the game has the pacing of a booger sugar binge, the length of a Colombian marching powder rail, the lines go harder mm. than ever, and oh, never yeah. miss an opportunity to butcher lore. Quick, strap down the lore goblin before he can get away. We play oh, what? oh, that was the Marine's malevolence. We don't like them. <laughs> Marines, patron saints of loving what they do and hating who they do it to. And in this game, it's the Ultramarines, yeah. They're the poster boys, but they're also the blandest. Because 40k 
sure is HK. Got a problem with the Emperor's <laughs> running things? Well, I have a problem with you running. Let me take a look. <laughs> Can you dig it? Good, then dig this. I'll answer two more questions. Okay. First, you may be wondering, why are we killing all these bugs? Look around. Every game out there nowadays is cats or dogs or something you can pet. But notice how this game has none. That's because the Xenos are eating our dogs what the hell? under no mm -hmm. good Leondros' rule. Bubbles what the hell? Barbecue. Barbecue bubbles. I'm so confused. <laughs> Many people ask, what the fuck? I saw, I saw that fleek thing. That was so funny. <laughs> I actually clicked away for a second, but what the hell? Go. Oh. Back like, real quick. Uh, oh, yeah, because it says fleek. That's what he is. Fleek is <laughs> Fleekazoid. Instead of Freakazoid. A space marine in the first uh, place. A space marine is what so happens funny. when you force a man to make hundreds of years of TRT and make him take an oath. Testron. No bitches. They also have what? way too much testosterone and crippling ED, making them the. Oh, yeah, they keep adding them, making their chins bigger in some of the AI images. They are the militaristic middle ground between human wave tactics and fuck it, let's nuke the entire planet. And this middle ground is often required because when guardsmen are deployed, their life expectancy can be tracked on an hourglass. Some people get 15 Damn. minutes of fame. Imperial Guardsmen get 15 minutes of life. You want a real hero? <laughs> oh shit, there goes another one. <laughs> oh shit, here goes another one. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens in the Imperial Guardsmen. That's why some people call their guns, which are LAS guns, laser pointers, because sometimes their weapons yeah. aren't even strong enough to break the normal, uh, you know, the enemy's yeah. defenses. Play. The combat has gotten even better than the first. The Astro Militarum fights their hardest, and they're the cave. Each, like funny this. enough, the Astro Militarum has a bunch of different divisions with a bunch of different designs, but everyone goes back to the Cadians. Stop. Beat the game, and you might just collect all the Dragon Balls. Space Marine Two plays like a dopamine fired soul train. You boot it up, and it's hard to hop off because it has so much momentum, and the core combat is so much fun. And you keep wanting just one more takedown, just one more mission. Just one more. More heretic. Fuck eating, fuck sleeping. You know what you can't do while you're eating? Call in the soul train to run over a hundred bugs. You know what you can't do while you're sleeping? Evaporate your enemies by running through them. Who needs dreams when yeah, you're Yeah, space rings are that big. Sleep, bitch, I got a rimming ton. The Emperor needs you, brother. Are you mad enough to answer the call? Oh, please, no. Rejection of this call will result in death. I mean, <laughs> death. Also, this is not a toll-free call. You're gonna have to pay that, too. A big reason for why this combat feels so good is because space are the embodiment of impact space marines are i will say they did great idea with uh basically with the combat you don't use cover you basically find ways to just regain your armor and cut through the enemies more quite Pretty literally much, you yeah. are the wall in between the enemies and whatever they're doing Big junky 600 pound muscle bound Bible I eat too bumpers. much job curry in my belly and they is tanky. Rage to I'll be very hard. You see a horde, you feel bad <laughs> for the horde. Yes, you're incapable of yeah. taking cover because you <laughs> are the cover. Bun. It's still yeah. the bastard child of God of War and Gears uh, of War. Now you get even more toys like parrying, blinking, counter shots. Oh, yeah, you can do all this stuff. Even more takedowns. Oh, shit. Which Ooh. takes us into the next thing that puts Space Marine 2 above the ever increasing amount of It has of such an interesting combo. Oh, what the the hell is that? One bug keep annoying you? The difference between hell divers and space is marines is that hell divers will kill that bug, space marines will annihilate them. Look at that takedown. That's what annihilating takedown yeah. I can't even see what's going on. Shut the fuck up, Ashley. New fleet's talking now. Current fleet's talking now. Rip it in half. Oh. Space soft. Rip out his fang and shank him ten times. Systematically disassemble every last cell in that thing's body. If your nuts don't tingle just looking at this, uninstall them. Double it. <laughs> give them to the next guy. Sure, there's a chance <laughs> killing it, but there is an absolute climax in annihilation. Especially with all this ministry love. Please, look away for a second. Especially what? with all this gore. This is like one of Quentin Tarantino's wet dreams. Without the yeah, he does have a lot of lore. Keep looking that way. Why the need for so much gruesome graphic violence? Why not let us... Because it's so much fun, Jim! What the hell? Weapons, starting with the melee. I don't even you know where that's from. Sword, you got your power fish, you got your power hammer. But you know why they don't have to call it a power chain sword? Because they don't need to convince you. They don't have to I mean, 
mean, it's cool to have a chainsword, but I do like the powered weapons. The power fist is always fun because I literally just go around saying I cast fist and punching bugs into nothing. Program you just to take a yeah. spin, catch one of these Xenos no. on your blade, and you'll mm. see the power. Oh, it's reliable, God. it's brutal, and when your gore system looks like this, it's the only way to go. Guns yeah, yeah. they knew what everyone wanted for this game. Are pretty good, but they are still nice, plasma yeah. weapons, so fuck every last one of them. I don't wait in line, I don't wait for my turn to speak, and I don't wait for marriage. If I go to the airport, and my plane is <laughs> there, I leave. <laughs> Suspected like that. Henceforth, why would I wait for my gun to charge up? Because it does good damage. Because it's better than every other pistol. I refuse on principle. I use all the plasma the weapons. Melt, the gun are the only guns I recognize now that the storm bolter didn't make a return. See a horde coming your way? What for? Cute damage <laughs> numbers. I am God. Also, <laughs> melt the gun's broken in a very healthy way that I'm not gonna say I because am God. sabotage me. But I'm gonna hint that it's on the screen right now. And Saber, if you fix this shit if I, after after my elite high tier commendation of it, I. I swear to God. Ah! Another fantastic thing about this game is the set pieces. I hate to get all Hollywood on you. You get all flaccid, start talking like someone who yanks it to master classes. But the set pieces in this game are awesome. There's armies fighting, tanks rolling, bombs dropping, bodies burning. You have to do an escort mission, but you're not escorting some mm. damsel in distress. What the hell kind of mod is that? <laughs> like mechanized... I do love this. With how many bad open world games we get these days, I forgot just how alive a nice custom tailored linear action game. I love all of this setup. Like, they didn't need to go this far, but they did. I keep going over this, but they did. They, they didn't have to, but they did. But what isn't alive are these AI teammates. And I'm just going to ever so diplomatically say, what the fuck, and then submit to you the following evidence. Yeah, get him, Moonwalk, get him, Moonwalk. Now, now get that tech set. Where are you going? What are you going? Right about now, let's say you bought Space Marine 2, ensured the continuance of your bloodline, but the game finished before you did. What now? Let me introduce you to the PvP. Ah, uh, yeah. <coughs> Just PvP kidding, is... This mode's actually pretty fucking shit. Let me introduce you to the... Wow, what a bad mode. One of the worst. So bad. Let me introduce you to the PvE mode known as Operations. This is my shit asterisk. Not only do you get more missions, but you get more customization. It's like Barbie, but <laughs> fit strong, mainly tough guys. I do you love this. I. Brother, does this red make my space my cheeks look big? But all warn you in advance, customization comes with a risk. You may choose yellow because it shows off your cheery personality. Oh, he's making it look like the Marines Malevolence. I know it. 40K, where that means you gun down civilians for fun you may choose black no, because just... you want to look cool but that actually means you the black have templars no and no balls that's right the black templars engage in dick chopicus offertorium now do i know that for a fact hell no <laughs> if enough people repeat it it'll become a fact think you can get around the accusations by going dark gray well now you're in the most racist space marine chapter in the universe i chose <laughs> purple because i wanted to be a pig Okay. You can get around the accusations by going oh, the size of the emperor. The racist space marine chapter in the universe. I chose purple because Oh no, wait, that was the red scorpions. I was wrong. Yeah, the red scorpions have a thing where they have a problem with themselves where they they need their uh blood to be pure. They believe they are the purest chapter in existence. So much so that uh some of the older members get twitchy around other oh, wow. space marines chapters. Marine, but then someone Damn. told me that means I'm a turncoat yeah. that betrayed I... the Emperor to get some Slanussi. What? No way! I'm so I guess I'll just wait here for the Slanesh to come pick me up there. <laughs> if you really want to have a good time, mix and match the colors, using each one to represent a different heinous crime you like to commit. Better yet, maybe you like to commit them all, and in that... Funny enough, Chrono, someone posted something like that and said, I am now joining my chapter, the Crayon Eaters. Case, put the whole rainbow on your armor, show that you're open to anything. <laughs> now, it's fair warning, the PvE Crayon does eaters. introduce leveling and class systems, and this does change the dynamic a bit, because you have to constantly up the difficulty to upgrade your gear, and that's gonna throw off the power fantasy until you can get that gear. So whereas the campaign's entirely this, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was too fucking easy. Run that back, run that back, I wanna kill that boss again. Oh. Operations <laughs> mode is more like this. One hole, one hole. I do like multiplayer, though it can be tough if you're not working together. But the takeaway here shouldn't be don't play this mode. It should be don't play this class in this mode because assault is ass. It's in the name. His special um, ability is dying. You know what? Let me splooge. Some uh, I will say one thing. The assault does have some problems, but that's because it's a literal shock troop. You're supposed to get in and get out. You're supposed to do a lot of damage, then probably back away. 
Because he has a jetpack that slams down Mr. the enemies. Here's your definitive guide to classes. You ready? Vanguard's like playing as an overweight cloaker, but at least you get all your weapons. Bulwark's the class you play. I do love playing the bulwark. Tactical's like playing as Titus minus all the good secondaries in rage mode. Assault and snipers like playing as the make a wish marines. Your teammates <laughs> are just happy if you're alive. And heavy is a class you don't think about at all until you see him at the top of the leaderboard for most kills and most damage done. Protect the gun from nerfs. All right, maybe not definitive, but I got the shit on a. Assault one last time, so it was worth it. <laughs> with me, then I disagree with you, your bloodline, and your entire home world being alive. Exterminatus, bitch. <laughs> yeah, exterminatus is blow up the planet, make it unlivable for everyone. <laughs> so, if you want a really fun game, this is it. Because he can Hi, lose even more. Hey, Fable. Loser. What a loser. Oh, my God. Hello, Fable. Hi, Charlie. You just missed Daisy. She had to look. Where's my bajillions of dollars? Why do you mean bajillions of dollars? We don't make that much. Fund. I will see you all for you tell me you give me a bajillion. Soon. No, I didn't. Liar. All right, goodbye. 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 I mean, I wish I had a bajillion dollars. Then I could make that video game I wanted to. That would be fun. I wouldn't have to worry about things. But we'll see how that goes eventually. So, once again, thank you all so much for coming by. If you like what we're doing here, please check out these two who are, should be in the description below. And if you like, like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you later. Anything you guys want to say? Thank you for stopping by. Check out everybody. I really want cake. Okay. <laughs> So once again, for the Emperor! Thank you all so much, and we'll see you later. Bye. Have a good day.